All right, let's get to breaking news now from the city of Frazier, where they are updating residents on that massive sinkhole situation. You are looking at live pictures at the meeting in City Hall. It just began here at the top of the hour. Meanwhile, as crews continue to work around the clock on finding a fix to the sinkhole, the majority of displaced residents moved back into their homes. Local force Coco McAvoy joins us live from City Hall with how residents are coping with this situation, Coco. Kimberly and Devin, a lot of residents feel like they still don't have a lot of answers, which is why they're here at tonight's meeting. But other residents are just happy to be back in their homes and are trying to find some kind of new normal after all of this mess. I think there's a sense of relief. Denise Hirschman's family is just one of many now back home after being displaced for two weeks. But I think once the road opened and people could come into their own homes, park in their garage, weren't carrying things, you know, in wagons and wheelbarrows down temporary sidewalks. There was a certain at ease. Marvin Harris lives a few houses down and doesn't feel that ease yet. It's it's really been kind of rough. His family has moved back in, but returned to find sewage in their basement. I have a finished basement, so it was on the carpet and I have uh, some prego floors, so it also backed up on that too. He had to take off of work today to try to get his house in order. Well, this is something I never could imagine. Neither can the other families on the street. And people are concerned about the potential smell. Some also concerned about property values and if they should try to move. I'm thinking that my property value has probably depreciated. While other families are staying put and trying to settle back into their homes the best they can. You know, trees fall from lightning on houses and things move on because ironically, once 15 Mile is repaired, it's going to be one of the safest areas on 15 Mile because it's going to be repaired. And Mayor Joe Nichols says they have not been able to access that busted sewer line, so they still don't know what caused this sinkhole, but there's a lot happening at this meeting. They're updating residents. Also, some businesses donating to those displaced residents, so there's some good coming out of this terrible situation. Reporting live from Fraser City Hall, I'm Coco McAvoy, Local 4.